Guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another four in one video action figure review at the 2023 Infinity Saga Marvel Legends Iron Man movies, Mark II Iron Man, the Captain America and the Winter Soldier movies, Black Widow. We have Avengers Infinity War, Bruce Banner, and we have the Civil War Captain America movies, Spider Man. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 big. get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. I believe there are six figures released in this dude. i only picked up four i already regret getting this one i don't know why i did that it, but these three right here i definitely wanted anyway on the side of the packaging you can see the infinity saga poster image right there which does look dope and then on the very back you get the poster images with their corresponding films with read-ups on each of them so there it is for iron man there's your read-up for black widow there's your read-up for bruce banner and there's your read-up for spider-man on the other side you get a different infinity saga Saga image which does look cool and then on the top you can see the movie logos with their names and then not much more at the bottom aside from UPCs right there so let's get to it and crack these things open and we're gonna start with the one I've been looking forward to the least which is the spider-man <laughs> But first, we gotta see all four figures out of the packaging, and I'm mostly satisfied with these upgrades over here. Um, the Spider-Man figure, not so much, but yeah, uh, I know these figures have been out for a while. I actually still see some of them on the shelves at my local Targets, so hopefully this video will still help you in your purchase-making decisions. So let's get a closer look at that Spidey. <laughs> So I remembered right before shooting this why I wanted this figure and it has nothing to do with anything that you're seeing right over here. It's the same as the Civil War 3-pack Spider-Man. Is the head sculpt different? It doesn't seem like it's any different. It seems like it's all the same to me anyway. There is a subtle difference between these two. Uh, by the way, uh, tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Century Productions and I are hosting another episode of Hello Sick Figs. We're going to be talking about the new Marvel Legends reveals in depth over there, so hope to see you guys tonight on that show. And I'm just seeing the same body mold, just with less paint, way less paint. I think the blue is more accurate on this newer version, and I could see subtle cross-hatching texturing right here throughout the legs. We don't really get that on this one, so there are those things. I don't know, what do you think? The blue does look better on this newer version, but other than that, it's more of the same exact thing. Uh, you get the fist hands, you do get the whipping hands, and I guess you could paint all these cobweb patterns in. Ah, jeez, it just feels like such a mistake picking this up. <laughs> Then he's looking at the new Black Widow figure, or the old Black Widow figure, same head sculpt as we'd seen before. We have a new upper torso over here and new double jointed arms, which I'm really happy about. But unfortunately, we get less paint applications, less texturing on this newer version. You can see no shield logo on the side of the new figure, not even on, oh, it is on that side right there. Ooh, missed that. It's all nice and tiny, really, really tiny, but hey, it's there, so that's cool. Then the gauntlets right here are a little bit bigger a little bit different I think that's pretty neat and you can see the chest is different you can see that we have that inner texturing right there and the zippers painted this one doesn't have that either of those things the zipper is only painted right over here and it doesn't get painted moving down the center as it does on this one so a bit less paint a bit less variety same faux guns over here and the legs are the same and everything, but we do get actual guns with this figure. So I do like that. And you could plug in effects right there if you want to. And you also get an extra set of hands, which are tricky to work with because that finger just gets in the way. As you can see right over here, I had a hard time having her hold the gun. So I had to take an X-Acto knife to these so that I can get her actually kind of holding them properly. Not even totally properly just kind of holding them properly then we get the alternate winter soldier head sculpt which i really like a lot and you can see it's the same exact head sculpt but yeah the paint apps on this newer version are just way better really digging these a lot so i do appreciate this upgrade i like it you know i really like this and she comes with these stinger effects too which are a little bit tricky to kind of figure out exactly how i want them configured but i always put them in going this way when i have her but i find myself always configuring them this way with the fist on this side. <laughs> and then we 
have Mark Ruffalo along with his forehead. And while the forehead does look a little big, I think this is a fantastic head sculpt. It looks just like him, right? At least in the face and everything. I don't know, he does have kind of a tall forehead. I mean, it's part of his semi-Neanderthal look so that he could be the Hulk, you know? And he does make a great Hulk. He is my favorite Hulk, by the way. I guess this is our best hulking out Hulk figure from Marvel Legends, right? Because Endgame Hulk, he's not really that aggressive looking or anything. And then here's the last Bruce Banner figure that we got from Hasbro. At the time, I really thought this was good, man. That was my genuine, honest opinion back then when this came out, which was quite a while ago. And now it looks like... This looks amazing. I really like this. Wow. I'm really pleased with the hair over here. Damn. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with this. Unfortunately, though, it does have some old school uh, things going on. Uh, I do like the plaid right here, and the blazer looks pretty good. I love the use of purple on it. And we have the Jimmy Woo arms, so it's pinless right there. But why in holy hell did they give him the old school legs? It's the same set of legs on the original figure. What the hell? Why chameleon legs? They could have given us the newer, you know, Daredevil legs right over here. Or Mr. Knight legs, right? I think we first saw these with Mr. Knight. So, yeah, I am bummed out about that. The pants color did change, but not the sculpt. And yeah, uh, I'm sick of these shoes and the lack of peg holes. It's just a frustrating figure right there. As far as that goes, he does come with a set of fisted hands. And he does come with an even set of relaxed hands as well. And these upper torsos are actually the exact same. So, but different blazer though. <laughs> And the figure I was looking forward to the most is this Mark II Iron Man, which is a repaint of the Mark III, which is kind of funny because it's backwards in the actual cinematic universe. You can see the stash is a bit faint on this new paint job, right? It's a lot more defined on this older one. I do like the photoreal tech around the eyes, and I do like that the face is less shiny and glossy than this older head sculpt, but yeah, it could have used a little bit more paint or for that mustache. It's throwing me off a little bit. I do like how we have a difference in silver right here and right here, so that's pretty cool. But he does come with his alternate helmeted head, which I like, or it's the same helmet, but, you know, the faceplate is on, and we get a little marbling line right over there. Could have been worse. It, it bugs me, but it's not as bad as it could have possibly been. Let me know if you have this figure. Again, these have been out for a while. How did the marbling come out on yours? I love the white with the trim of blue right there. That looks great. Very happy with that. And then I also wanted to show another head swap of the roadie head from, I think, the Mark III War Machine. And... That actually looks pretty good. Now, if you look at it from the side, the colors are not going to match up. Plus, uh, the head is a little too small. But still, if you wanted to, you know, get these two, you know, fighting each other at the after party and everything, you, you could make that happen if you wish. I guess to get into the other accessories, you get these two blast effects right here, which do port into the bottom of his feet, but not into the repulsor blaster hands, which is really weird. I don't remember these not having those ports. I guess it's just been a while where I've reviewed too many figures, but yeah, no hinges and no ports right there for those blasts which just bums me the hell out that just sucks so but what doesn't suck are these little bolt decos throughout over here yeah bolt decos all over the place bolt deco i actually mean but i think it looks pretty good uh, i i do like it and i'm not seeing tons of marbling all over the place you'll see some there's definitely some here but on the back for the most part it looks pretty smooth over there you know on the arms not too shabby I could see some on the lower torso, but yeah, uh, I think this is a fairly clean looking figure. I like how the arc reactor has the white and blue in there, and we get some more bolts decoed throughout on this figure. Pinless lower calf right there, pinless joints up here too, just like the older one, so nothing different over there, but yeah, we get the peg holes at the bottom of the feet as well. Now I'm going to skip the articulation segment. We know how these articulate. I will mention again, the shoulders right here on Iron Man are very stiff. I also wish I could get his head to tilt up a whole lot more so. Same issues I had with the previous version. Uh, the Black Widow, she's got the double jointed elbows now. Uh, aside from that, all the articulation is pretty much the same as what you remembered. Uh, you could see that Iron Man's the tallest one of these, standing at about 7 inches tall almost. And the shortest one, obviously, is... The Civil War Spider-Man under six inches. And for a little Spider-Man comparison, you can see the two Civil War Spider-Man right there. And then here's our most recent Spider-Man. We have the final swing suit Spider-Man with the head sculpt that came with this figure plopped on there, which I think is probably a more 
accurate depiction of Tom Holland at around this time, as opposed to the one that actually came with the figure. And for a Black Widow comparison, you can see our first Winter Soldier version compared to this new version right here. And then uh, this is the Black Widow movie. Black Widow, which has been my favorite one from the MCU. It's been on my MCU show for a long time. I was thinking possibly this could replace it, but after reviewing it, nah, uh, I'm still gonna keep this one on there. And as far as putting this head sculpt on here or the long hair version on there, it's not gonna work right because the neck is too long on this newer figure. And it's not the batons holding that back or anything. It's just the way that neck is designed. It's just not gonna work with these. See what I mean? See what I mean? Ugh. Oh, I'm putting the new head on the oldest body right here. It doesn't look awful. Their dumbbell joint system is different, by the way. You just only had one peg sticking up right here. At least this one right here does have a dumbbell joint. And then for a Bruce Banner comparison, you can see the first Bruce Banner figure. Here's the second one. There's our new comic version that came with the Gray Hulk. And then there's our Age of Ultron Hulk from the first 10 years. I am curious to see a head swap with these two. I want to know how this looks. Well, wait, first I want to see how the glasses look on this guy. They're too big. They don't look right. It, it looks a little bit weird seeing those on there. But yeah, let's do our head swap. Uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I'm not really terribly pleased. Their flesh tones don't really match up perfectly. Kind of neat. Kind of not. Then for an Iron Man comparison, you can see our new Mark II next to the old Mark II from the first Iron Man movie figure wave. And then we have our Mark III from the first 10 years uh, series that came out a few years ago, right? Uh, I'm noticing paint applications on this that I'm not seeing here. Now, this one doesn't have the clean bolt deco throughout, but it does have these nice little yellow warning paint apps in yellow stupid. over here. And I thought that was pretty nice, along with a little bit of a black wash over it, which I think is pretty cool. I prefer having the bolts over the black wash but i do appreciate it uh, they did have some nice paint on there but of course this is just way way better than this one right over here so yeah and then here's the four figures next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time let down spider-man whoa mark two eh, i know you can make a mark one in that mark two but can you do a mark two in that mark two huh eh, eh, eh. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful, especially with all the comparisons and everything. If you did, feel free to pay it forward by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna go an extra step further to support what I do here on YouTube, go ahead and share my content. That really goes a long way. It helps with the algorithm. It doesn't cost anybody any money. Just give it a share, spread the word. I really appreciate it, you guys, and thank you for watching. Now, these four figures are not the only one from, or only figures from this Infinite Saga. I did pass on the Winter Soldier Captain America, uh, the, the other Iron Man figure, I forgot which <laughs> mark that was. I did see that one in the store. It looked pretty cool, but I have a lot of Iron Mans already. <laughs> and then I also passed on the Thor. I have a lot of Thors. I didn't really want to pick up the Smiling Thor that badly. So uh, let me know if there are any Infinite Saga or Infinity Saga figures that you were extremely excited for. Uh, the Mark II Iron Man, that's the one I was the most pumped for. And to be honest with you, I don't think any of these figures are great. I don't think Hasbro even thinks any of these figures are great. They are all re-released figures of characters we all have except for the mark ii which we actually technically do have that character so but we've never really seen a mark ii in quite some time like since 2008 so that one's been long overdue i'm gonna rank uh the spider-man separately from the rest uh the price point of around 25 bucks i'm gonna give the civil war spider-man a sud rating of Meh. And then for the Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Mark II, I'm gonna give them all the same sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think. Now, while I am happiest with the Mark II, and I do have them in order as far as how happy I am to have them, uh, the Mark II still has its problems, and things that I was hoping would be a little bit different are not so different. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. And remember, we got that live stream tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hella sick figs, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.